Hi, welcome to Dad Talk Network. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Today I'm back in the kitchen with my wife, Tracy. So Tracy, what are we cooking today? Today, we're gonna to cook beef boneless short ribs. Uh, short ribs is a wonderful cut of beef that is very, very tender. Um, it's, the, it's the type of beef that you sear on the, on the stove and then braise and then you finish the cook in, in the oven. So let me show you this cut of beef short rib. This is the boneless style. They're usually square shaped. They call it the English cut. And when you get them and you buy them from um, your meat market or the grocery store, um, you want to get them and trim whatever extra fat. They come with a little bit of a fat cap on the top. And what I do is I trim as much uh, fat as I can, but you do want to leave a little fat on it. That, that's just what gives beef short ribs uh, its flavor. And it's, as you can see, it's nice and marbleized and um, it will be extremely tender. Uh, I have two stalks of celery here. I have, uh, I have a medium onion or half of a large onion here. I have two tablespoons of minced garlic. I have about 12 to 15 whole garlic cloves that I'll put in the pan whole. I have some rosemary that I'll just put a couple of uh, fingerfuls of uh, rosemary, some browning sauce, some soy sauce. I'll just use a couple of teaspoons of the soy sauce. I will use a full bottle of uh, red cooking wine. I have about a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce, a bunch of thyme, a few bay leaves I'll put in there. I have a quart of beef broth and a can of, it's about 14, 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes I'll put into the pan. So first I'm gonna begin by heating a large um, steel, I have a stainless steel Dutch oven, restaurant style Dutch oven that has a lid to it. Uh, with about a third of a cup of olive oil and I have about a, maybe a third of a stick of butter, I'm gonna let this butter melt down and let this pan get nice and hot before I add my uh, beef short ribs. Okay, my pot is nice and hot. So I'll begin transferring the beef short ribs and I'm gonna arrange them around the pot so that I can make sure that they all fit. So I salt and pepper both sides of the beef short ribs lightly salt and pepper. Now when they're putting the salt and pepper on each side, just be mindful that you will be using some Worcestershire sauce and some browning sauce and also a little bit of soy sauce. So all of those sauces have sodium in it. So you don't want to go put too much salt on your beef short ribs. So just lightly salt and pepper each side. So here I was able to make it all fit. And what I'll do is I'll make sure it browns, it sears on each side. And I'll flip them over and then and let it brown on the other side. And then once that happens, I'll remove them from the pan and begin to saute my um, vegetables. Okay, now the short ribs are ready to be flipped. So they're nice and seared and brown on one side. And I'll make sure I'll flip all of these over. Make sure you preheat your oven to about 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So now that I have them seared on both sides, I'm going to remove the short ribs onto a dish or off to the side. So now I have all the nice beef flavoring at the bottom of the pan. The onion. 
the celery. Some salt to say that. But while this is cooking down, I'm going to begin to add two teaspoons, roughly, of rosemary. I'm going to add the whole cloves of garlic. Add the minced garlic. And just loosen up and deglaze all the bits that are at the bottom of the pot. Teaspoons of browning sauce. Just eyeing that. Three teaspoons of soy sauce. Two. Add the quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. Give this a stir. I like mine's a little darker, so I'm going to add another teaspoon of browning sauce. Okay. Okay, it's been about a minute or so, and a good portion of the alcohol within the wine is cooking off. Add the bay leaves. And my thyme sprig. I'm gonna add the beef stock. Now, some recipes you can actually use mushrooms. You can use maybe about eight ounces of mushrooms if you're a mushroom lover. You can add that in as you're cooking the onions and celery. But I do have a guests over that aren't too crazy about mushrooms, so I'm gonna leave them out. And I'm gonna. I have about a cup of water here. I'm gonna add that in. And I'm gonna add in my diced tomatoes. So at this point, I'm gonna add back in the beef. One by one. Add all the juices that are in the pan that the beef was sitting in to utilize all those juices because that's that's good that's good flavoring so now that i have the beef back into the pot i'm going to place the lid back on and i'm going to transfer this pot into the preheated oven that i have uh, going already ribs into the oven i remove the top rack so that i will be able to fit pot and I'll let this uh, bake or roast in the oven with the lid on uh, for about two, two and a half hours. Um, I'll check it uh, periodically and I'll, you know, make sure that there's st still enough liquid, that it, the liquid is not evaporating too quickly and I'll give them a turn uh, on each side and just to make sure and I'll test it for tenderness as well before I take them out. So now that the beef short ribs have been cooking for about two hours, I'm gonna give it a check, make sure there's enough liquid in there. So as you can as you can see here, it's cooking very nicely. The liquid is starting to evaporate and all of the flavors this, this uh, sauce here that it's cooking in is very flavorful. And um, even after this, the beef short ribs are eaten, I tend to save this sauce. Uh, the base of the sauce makes an excellent French onion soup. So now it just needs to continue to cook. I'm gonna let it cook for maybe another half an hour uh, or so, just to make sure that it's completely tender uh, fork tender actually uh, whereas if you don't need a knife to cut it um, right now it's giving me a little bit of a bounce back which tells me it's not 
quite tender yet, so I'm gonna put the lid back on and let it cook for another 30 minutes. Okay, so my short ribs are pretty much done, so I'm gonna do a plating straight from the pot. Now, while my beef short ribs were cooking, I did prepare some mashed potato and some cooked carrots on the side. You can, this is delicious with, you can have it with rice or potato, um, whatever you like as a side dish and whatever your favorite vegetable. So I'm gonna plate it with one. I'm just gonna take a little of the sauce and the mashed potato and a little sauce over the short rib. So now it's time for the taste test. My favorite part. Nice tender. Mm. Mm. Flavorful. Just Melt nice. in your mouth. The beef. Very nice combination with the carrots and the mashed potato. Mm. As always, thank you for tuning in to Dad Talk Network and our series of Back in the Kitchen. Stay tuned for a upcoming episode soon. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Thank you.